And so behind me is part of the Cimarron National Grassland. Uh, so this is a, a parcel that's been uh, been under grassland for many decades. And you can see all the loose sand below me along this road. And then over here is a piece of privately owned land that's cropped. And we're in the middle of a very bad drought where there's very little residue and everything is blowing. So there's very little, very little residue to hold anything still. And we got lots of sediment moving through the bed. And you can tell from the wind, there's there's a lot of a lot of potential for stuff to blow and it is blowing. This used to be a ditch, all filled with saltating sand. And here's the field it came from. So this field over here is CRP, and you notice this ditch is completely filled with sand. That sand most likely moved across the road from this field over here, where there's very little residue. So you just see you got fields over here, which is grasslands from the Cimarron National Grassland. You got a field that was under production, very little residue in the middle of the uh, middle of the drought, losing all the sand over here, filling both ditches, and then we get CRP, where you got just just as much residue as we had in the grassland uh, kidney corner from this angle. So lots of sand movement. This cemetery consists of mainly people that passed away during the 30s, during the Dust Bowl. And as we're looking around, looking at the headstones, uh, many of them are either children or elderly. Some infants, some two years old, some, uh, some other young kids. And one thing to also note is that this whole cemetery, which is, presumably hasn't been plowed, but it's been in grassland the entire time, and several feet above uh, the surrounding field which presumably has been tilled so, uh, so this is the, the video that we showed a little bit ago where sand was blowing across the road and a lot of sand a lot of soil movement and this field has lost yeah, at least 18 inches 20 uh 24 inches maybe more so we're talking significant erosion and and just yeah the elevation change of what is, is plowed out in the cemetery is stark. There is a huge difference. And then even between these two fields here, the one on the left, there's standing residue, stuff's getting trapped, there's not a whole lot of movement. Uh, but the one on the right, there's nothing. And there is a lot of movement. So a couple of takeaway messages here. When it's not plowed, things stayed put that we can see in the cemetery. And when it was plowed, there was feet of soil that went away. And then the cemetery itself is filled with people that passed away, presumably from dust pneumonia during the Dust Bowl. So this is a, a very sad site to visit, but interesting nonetheless.